I'm making slow braised chili beef, a really great take on a classic chili con carne, but it's made with beef shin, which is full of flavour and really easy to cook. So I'm going to start off with, I've got my beef shin, and I've got some olive oil heating up in the pan, and I'm just going to fry these one at a time, just to start to get some colour on. Now beef shin is such a hard working cut of meat, and those hard working cuts are really, really full of flavour, but they do take long, slow cooking. So make sure you fry them off one at a time so you don't crowd the pan. Also, you notice the shin's got this lovely piece of bone and bone marrow, which is going to add loads of flavour to the finished dish. So once the beef is nicely seared off, it's going to add a little splash more oil. And then you're going to have all these really sticky bits at the bottom of the pan. And they've got loads of flavour in there. So I want to go straight in with the onions. And as the onions fry, they're going to lift off all those really nice sticky bits. And then a little bit of garlic as well. Now I want to sweat the onions and garlic down without adding any colour. And a great way of doing that is just adding a little pinch of salt to the onions. And what it will do is start to draw out the moisture from the onions as they fry and it will stop them from taking on any colour. So once those onions are nice and soft, we go in with some smoked paprika and then some chipotle paste. Now this has got a really lovely, sweet, smoky flavour. It's going to go brilliantly with the beef. Just fry that for a minute to start to release the natural oils in the paprika. Next up, some brown sugar. That's just going to enhance the sweetness of the onions and the tomatoes. And then the beef is going to go back into the pan. A couple of cans of tomatoes. And some beef stock. Now, just to make sure you get all the last bits out of the cans, just rinse them out with the stock. It's a good way of making sure you use up everything. Give it a final stir just to make sure all of that base is well mixed into the sauce. And then press down the beef to make sure it's submerged. Right, now that's all the hard work done. I've got my oven on a medium heat and that's just going to go in there for four hours. So the beef has now been cooking away for four hours and the kitchen smells incredible. Just look at that. It's all reduced down, gone really sticky and dark. And that's going to taste amazing. Now what I want to do is just fish out these little bits of bone. Now you'll notice that those bones are empty, which means the bone marrow that was in them is now in the sauce, which is going to really enrich things. And just to show you how soft this beef is, just watch. Take another spoon and press it down, and it just falls apart. So what you're doing is not really shredding it too much, just stirring it around enough so it falls into small pieces. I'm just going to finish it off by adding some red kidney beans and just stir those into the top. And I'm going to pop it back in the oven uncovered for a further half an hour. So that's going to soften the beans, bring everything together and also help to reduce the sauce. So after half an hour, that chilli is going to be reduced down, sticky, rich and sweet and have that lovely background smoke from the chipotle. And just serve it with some warm corn tortillas and all of your favourite sides. Now for more great dishes like that, hit the subscribe button.